Hello everybody, welcome to this tutorial on generic overview of ABAP monitoring. Here we have an example of what we can do on OCC dashboard. In this, we use metrics dedicated to ABAP systems. As we can see, the 16 gadgets belonging to ABAP monitoring in the dashboard perform different activities with same or different data providers according to their respective scenarios. If we walk through closely on the left side of the window, we can see the correlation between the gadgets vertically belonging to same systems queries with their respective data providers and renderers. For example, as we go into the edit mode, we can observe the gadgets on the left column with the same queries performing different tasks like response time, load per instance, etc. Similarly, we can observe the correlation in the right vertical columns about memory as different instances. Remember, from ABAP monitoring, we can display different ABAP-related metrics coming from several scenarios in Solution Manager. And all these metrics are performing different tasks to obtain several results according to their users' needs. For example, here we have response time composition, which basically is a distribution from ST03N of the managed system. Now, we are going to use the global time range feature in the OCC dashboard. To set the global time range, we first have to click the Set Global Time Range button on the top right corner of the window and we need to click the display global time range and select the period we want our data to be shown like days hours and months in our case we'll put auto auto as period and res resolution respectively basically what it does it allows you to change the time range for several gadgets at once so that's it everybody for this video thank you for listening and watching see you soon